given that there is yet to be a non-mRNA vaccine in the NVP today, MOH has decided to bring the Sinovac vaccine under the NVP. The Sinovac CoronaVac vaccine will be for a specific usage, namely for individuals who cannot or do not want to take the mRNA vaccines. The Sinovac vaccine will be administered as a three-dose vaccine. First dose, after that, second dose will be 28 days later, and third dose will be 90 days later. This three-dose vac uh, vaccination regime is in line with the WHO's recent recommendations after taking into account of international data and evidence of the efficacy of two doses. For those who have already taken two doses, they will still be considered as vaccinated, but will be scheduled to take a third dose 90 days after the second dose. MOH recognizes that these changes will increase the demand for the Sinovac vaccine doses, and we are in the process of securing more supplies. For the specific usage I just described, the Sinovac vaccine will be administered for free and will come under VIFAP, the Vaccine Injury Financial Assistance Program. However, for some individuals who have taken the Sinovac vaccine before PISA approval was given and have paid for it, we will not be able to reimburse the cost and we seek your understanding. MOH will also assign the vaccination centre at Raffles City to administer the Sinovac vaccine. And this is on top of the 11 private clinics which has been assisting MOH in administering the Sinovac vaccine. I should clarify two other points. First, we will not, we will not be using Sinovac vaccine as boosters for those who have already taken two doses of mRNA vaccines. For these individuals, the expert committee recommends and MOH agrees that they should receive either of the mRNA vaccines as boosters. Second point, we will also not use Sinovac vaccine for children below 18. Sinovac's application for PISA and the approval, interim approval granted is based on the vaccine being used for individuals 18 years and above.